Hi there folks, my name is Chris Follick. I'm the CEO of Dreamcatchers, the world's best hair extensions. So check this out. A couple of months ago, somebody said to me, hey Chris, do you want to do a presentation on a live uh, TV? And I said to them, ah, you know what, I'll give it a go, cool bananas. So guess what folks, this is a nerve wracking experience. I gotta tell you that right <laughs> up. I've already had a couple of Valium, I've had a shot of scotch, and uh, I'm just gonna give it a go. So all I wanna do is invite you lovely people to come along on a wonderful journey with Dreamcatchers. Today, we're gonna show you the iTip and the tape, two of the most popular systems out there. And if you've got any questions or anything like that, please don't, ha don't hesitate to post them. Here on my immediate left-hand side is Catherine. She's our, our educator. I call her Cat, and if you're a little cheeky, you can get away with Kitty Cat. What's on the board, Miss Ford? Well, we are very excited to have you here with us and like Chris said, on our journey. And what we really want to focus on today is showing you how you can take these dream catchers and work with them on almost every single client in the salon. Because let's face it, not every single client wants the same look or has the same hair. So what our focus is, is to show you how we can really work with these and give you the versatility so every single one of your guests in the salon walk away happy and smiling. All right, so folks, Today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you an installation on the full head of iTip and on the tape. But before we get there, I'd like to just give you a little history lesson, okay? I'm not sure if any of you know that, but 95% of all hair extensions in the United States actually come from India. It's black hair. How do you make black hair blonde, Cat? You have to bleach it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, but by bleaching it, we all know you're going to strip the integrity of the hair. So what they do, they use what they call a protein or a keratin tip. The truth is, it's a polite way to sew glue. So you glue the hair in today, and guess what? Four months later, the stylist is standing for five or six hours, taking out the old extensions to throw them away to glue in a whole new system. The client wants a cigarette, everybody's freaking out, it's taking forever, okay? So what the, what's the difference here with dream catchers? You see the color of this hair here? The color you see it is the color we buy it. So it's clearly obvious, it doesn't come from India, okay? So you wouldn't want to throw this hair away. So unique to dream catchers, what I'm gonna do is hopefully you can get a close up here. Look at that, okay, so if I squeeze it, it flattens out. I let it go, it bounces back. I squeeze it, it flattens out. It's rubber, so you can do that over and over again and it won't break down. And you know what that means? You can reuse the same extension month after month, and you're not gonna believe this, but year after year. Let's get started, Kat. Let's do it. All right. We have to do our dosi do. We practice this. You yeah. See this? And this is go. pretty good. All right. So what we do is we use these little cylinders. They come in different colors, black, blonde, light brown, dark brown, and copper. We've got five different colors, okay? Six. Six, six different six colors. Six different colors. See, they even threw one in and I didn't even know about that. Okay, six different colors. There you go, now All you you're going to do is you're going <laughs> to section off the hair, folks, and you're going to take a little pinch. It's this easy, it really is. You're going to slide on the little cylinder. And by the way, these cylinders um, are made of an emulsion, aluminum and copper. So you can reuse the same cylinder over and over again. You're going to pop in the pre-tipped extension. And remember, that is rubber, so no slippage and no damage to the client's own natural growing hair, okay? It's simply that easy. All right, so guess what happens? Four to six weeks later, that extension has grown down like a regular extension would. It's about an inch to an inch and a half away. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna pop open that little cylinder using the exact same cylinder, slide it back up using the exactly the same extension, and simply reclamp it. How easy is that, okay? And remember, you're gonna do that every four to six weeks. How often do you do a color, cat? Every four to six weeks. Right, so now the guest is already in the chair. So while the color is processing, what are you doing? I'm gonna tell you one of three or four things. Either you're attending another guest, mm -hmm. good luck to you, having a cigarette, mm, bad luck to you, or simply standing around with your arms folded doing nothing, and that's even worse. So while the color is processing, you are actually gonna be doing the push-up or the touch-up, Yep. okay? And I think Kat's gonna explain that to you a little bit later today yep. when we do when we go through the actual yeah. push-up itself. and we will, yeah. I'm gonna show you how we actually work with our adjustments, how we do our maintenances to make sure that the client's integrity of their natural hair stays intact. And what we're gonna do on Bonnie today is we are gonna do a full head and we're gonna be installing five bundles. Okay, talking about five bundles. There is a promo that's going on at the moment. For every four bundles you buy, you will automatically get the fifth one free. I'm gonna say that again nice and slowly and you know why, because I'm just a hell of a nice guy. Check it out. For every four bundles you buy, the fifth one is always gonna be free. So let me show you what five bundles looks like. Why don't you hold that for me please, Kat? Sure. All right, <laughs> so this lovely lady over here, Destiny, she's got five bundles in, okay? It is flat to the scalp, you simply cannot feel it. If I can't feel it, she can't feel it, so you're gonna have no discomfort whatsoever. That is five bundles. That is a lot of hair, okay? You can have it in an updo, and you can't see anything. Look at the length of a natural hair. Shame the poor thing, okay? Nobody wants to take her out to movies, she goes to dinner on her own, but now, 
Look at that. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely gorgeous. And by the way, this hair has been with her for over 12 months already. If I part the hair, you can see we've been using them for highlights, lowlights. Why are we throwing color on and damaging the hair? Thank you, Destiny. In fact, you know what? She's so gorgeous. I'm going to go with her. <laughs> Kat, I'm going to leave it up to you. All righty. See you later. So I'm just going to bring this back over to what we're working on with Bonnie. I'm just going to pop this one in and we can refer to what we're doing. Now, like I said, we are going to do five bundles for length and volume on Bonnie's head. Now I've already installed her first row, which is her nape row right here. And our second row is gonna be above because when you're working with these eye tips, you always wanna work in very clean, very meticulous rows, starting at the nape and working your way up. One of the things I'd love for you to really focus on and notice is that I'm working in a U-shape pattern or a smiley face to go with the curvature of the hairline. It looks better, it feels better, and you can actually get farther using less extensions. And that's what makes it look really nice when you pull it up into that ponytail like what Chris was showing you earlier. It's really so you can't see any of this and it doesn't pull on these corners. So I'm just gonna install a couple of more just so you can get a feel and a vibe for what we're doing. Yeah, sure. Is five bundles and maxi can install the full head? That's a great question. One of the questions we just got is, is five bundles the max amount that you would ever use? Absolutely not, because you need to remember, not everybody's hair is the same, and it's coming in at different lengths and different textures, and honestly, different densities. That's what you really need to keep in mind, and not everybody wants the same look. So depending on the client's natural thickness and their length, and how long they want their extensions to be at the very end, that's what will really make you uh, visually determine how many bundles you need to use. So I'm just gonna pop in a couple of more. That way you can see. And what you always wanna focus on is consistency. You want every single one of these extensions to line up beautifully right next to each other, especially when you're going for length and volume. Your first few rows, Stack them in, put them close together. That's the beauty of working with these eye tips. There's no fusion. So you can put them in right next to each other and you don't have to worry about these bonds getting stuck together. They grow out beautifully and you'll notice practice makes perfect. That's the biggest thing. And I'm gonna pop it one in, drag it down, line it up and lay it nice and flat. That's really what you wanna focus on. And as you can see, I'm gonna be working with multiple colors on Bonnie today, starting with a little bit of depth and blending in some of our ombre tones and really focusing on finding her colors to marry the two into one. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab another one. And I always like to start in the middle and I always like to work my way out. That way I know that the head is staying even as I'm working on each row. Yeah. How short of hair can you install these on? We have another question, and it is, how short can the hair be to actually install these extensions? Honestly, if you can grab it, you can put it on. But remember, when you're working with really, really short hair or shorter layers, you want to make sure that you're not going too long and you're not weighing somebody down. So let's say you're, you have somebody with a pixie. Maybe it's not about installing a full head. Maybe it really is about just getting them through a grow out stage and installing five bundles to get them to a bob, a nice textured bob, really playing with their natural layers so it really is enhancing what they already have. Okay. And another trick that I wanted to tell you guys that I don't normally do, but I wanted to let you know that you know when you're working on a client, especially because you've got thin, fine, you're working with hair that's a little bit finer or thinner, just use a little bit of hairspray. Spray it on, comb it down, and it'll look fantastic and it's easy to work on. You don't have to worry about those flyaways. What we're gonna do now is I am going to introduce you all to Tammy, our stylist, and what she's going to do is she's gonna take Bonnie off and we're gonna finish her offset. And in a couple of minutes, we're gonna come on back and we have a special guest artist named Lala who is going to be doing a fantastic 10 minute updo. So we'll see you in a minute. continually so happy with these extensions. They're just amazing. 
I like him way better than the hot fusion, that's for sure. <laughs> the first thing they ask is, how long is your actual hair? This long. Big difference. <laughs> and everybody does walk by and feel the hair and know how amazing it is. So I'm so excited. I just got them and um, yeah, we're bringing it to Alaska. Woo! I just bought my Dreamcatchers hair extension kit. I'm very excited about it. I purchased it because after having used many other lines, I've gotten nothing but great feedback about the quality of the hair. And I'm just really excited to introduce it to my clients and give them the quality of service they deserve. I'm so glad to, that you guys came on back to see what else we have in store. And with us is the amazing and talented Lala. And I'm so glad that you decided to join us today. Thank you so much for having me today. Always. I'm super excited to be on set with the Dreamcatcher uh, team. I have been working with a lot of uh, extensions companies in the last two years in my bridal industry. And I have to tell you guys, I finally found a company that is making all my dreams come true. They are not called the dream catchers for nothing, <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Please try their product. It's absolutely amazing. So most of you that take my classes that come to shows, I am known for uh, very fast techniques that help you achieve a style in less than 15 minutes. What that uh, does mean, that means that you're going to have more clients in your chair and more money in your pocket. So I'm going to get straight to work. We have the extensions in already. You uh, probably yep. guys saw that. Uh, we can definitely style here even if we do have the extensions in. And in this case, it's very easy for me because the quality of the hair, it's absolutely amazing. So let's get to, uh, to work. What I'm going to go uh, over today is um, I'm going to combine two techniques um, that you can use when you do um, half up dues or um, a lot of the people when the, we do bridesmaids, they come for a half up, half down. So you can use the first technique on the top for that uh, kind of style. And then I will continue with the braid. Why do I continue with the braid? Because uh, braids were very trendy in the last two years. And I see, uh, I see them coming back very strong in 2017 as well. And every time I have a bride maid or a bride sitting in my chair, they always, always want a braid incorporated into the style. Why do I go over braid? Because that's something that you're gonna get in your chair on a daily basis. And most of the times we do not know how to make those braids uh, last longer. So that's why I'm going over a braid today. I wanna show you guys how to make a braid if you have a bride sitting in your chair asking for a braid how to make that uh, look big fluffy clean and make it last longer so we're gonna get to work I love it um, I feel like I'm so fortunate because I've seen Lala playing around a little bit and she is phenomenal seeing what she can do with 10 minutes and five bundles of extensions is just amazing. And again, you know, I just really want you guys to remember, we do have that promotion for you. It's a fantastic deal. You know, take advantage of that because working with these can really change your business in your salon, which I think is so important. You know, sometimes we, we might become complacent, we might get into a rut and you, you just look at yourself and you think, what else can I do? How else can I change this? And maybe this is gonna be your game changer. Well, I know that it was for me when I started doing this, you know, I'm not even gonna tell you how long ago, but it was something that I feel really, really amped up what I did and, and elevated me as a stylist. And you know, watching Lala today is just a different kind of motivation and it's a different kind of inspiration that I've really noticed because I'll be honest, I don't know how to braid, I am awful. So being able to watch her get her hands in there, it actually, made it, I got excited. I want to do it. I want to learn. I'm going to be taking her class too. So it's going to be great. So let me go a little bit about, uh, over what I'm doing right here. I took one section from the side and another one from the other side. When you grab your section, you, you need to make sure that your section are equal. When I split that section into, let me go over that a, really quick over again. So I'm taking one section. I split that in two and I need to make sure that both sections have equal hair in them. I don't want one section to be bigger and the other one slimmer. And we are just twisting away from the face. Have that in mind. You don't want to twist uh, um, towards the face, but away from the face, because otherwise it's gonna look like they have wings on the side. And we secured this with a uh, clip. We're going to twist this one as well. And then we are taking the two sections and we secure those together with a um, hair uh, tie, with the rubber band actually, not a hair tie. When you do that, make sure that the twists on one side are equal with the, the ones on the other side. Why is that important? Because it's, when we're done, this is gonna look more like a brick layer pattern. So we wanna make sure that that looks um, blended in. We are securing the 
two sections together. Make sure when you use the elastic, you use elastic that will kind of like blend in with the color of your client. You don't want to go with black rubber bands if um, they have blonde hair. Secure in this. And we are going to do the same steps once again. How beautiful and gorgeous is this color? It's gorgeous, and that's because I did it, just so you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But on top of that, you know, when you're working with your dream catchers, what makes it amazing is that you can set them back a little bit farther from the hairline to make sure that when she pulls her hair back and she's got that veil of hair to cover up any cylinders. So that's what we focused on on Destiny's hair. Um, and making sure, and I know that with this style, we really wanted to work with multiple colors. So we've got about five different colors of the dream catchers going through her hair to really give that transition and that dimension. And again, that's something that, you know, that's where you really want to work with a company that does a certification because they're going to show you those tips and tricks on how to properly blend multiple colors together to achieve the look you're going for. Can you hold this for me? Totally. For oh my gosh. I get Please to be, be my assistant. lovely assistant. So we're twisting again, making sure that both sides have equal twists. And we are going to secure right underneath that rubber band because we want to cover the previous section. Securing that again. I think I'm going to go with one more row and then I will get into the, um, into the um, braid. Yeah. Now, most of the braids that you see on my page, they are fishtail braids. Why do I choose the fishtail braid versus of the French braid? Every time we have a bride, that means they're going to dance a lot, they're going to move, they're going to sweat. We're going to have a lot of friction on the side. I'm huge on getting feedback from my clients and every time I have a bride sitting in my chair, I encourage them to get back to me. And I have discovered that every time I was doing a French or a Dutch braid, those braids were not lasting and I have discovered every time I was doing a fishtail braid um, that one was lasting longer because the way we're braiding the hair the hair it's secured inwards so that means every time it's it's friction the hair it's more secure well I have brides that do not like the, the look of a fishtail what do I do instead I go with the fishtail just for the technique because it makes the hair the, the braid last longer but when I grab my section I grab really thick sections so I can make those plates look uh, around and turn that more into a French braid versus a, a fishtail braid. So I'm using the fishtail technique to make the braid last longer but I make it look like a French braid. I love if that. that makes sense. I love the tips and tricks because that's what makes it so much quicker is you know and also because it sounds like Lala's made every single mistake so you don't have to. Is Absolutely. that kind of what I'm getting? Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah learn from my mistakes yeah. but don't take what I'm uh, telling you as a rule okay if yeah. you discover anything else that works the best for you please do that. Now we're going with another row of um, twisting and then we're going to get into the braid. Love it. And I don't know if all of you know this yet, but Lala just recently got engaged, which is so exciting. Congratulations. Yay. Wait, let me see that one more time. <laughs> ah, it's blinding. So amazing. Um, and we are so excited because I have personally offered up my services and I cannot wait because I am going to drop in a full head of dream catchers on Lala with a custom color everything out the park just to make sure that she's looking fantastic for her wedding. Super excited yes, about Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> of course, we're going to get this color off. Yeah. So we're securing again this one. Gosh, that looks so pretty. It's amazing what just like a little twisting can do. Right? Wait, the magic just begins. So now we're going back. We did the twist. We're going to hold the section and we're going to pull. See, I'm not good at that. I like that. You are very good. I can't. That looks great. So that's like kind of like cheating a braid. <laughs> that's, that's how gorgeous. I call it. I love and we're it. going back. And honestly, if you're braiding, you're not going to be able to make those pleats like uh, sit on top of each other like this in a bricklayer pattern. And people are going to look at your styles and they're going to wonder how the heck did she do that? That looks so complicated. So it does. Going. It makes it look really intricate. And fluffy. Yes, fluffy. I love that word. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what the brides like. They like the big hair. Yeah. Once we're done pulling that, we're going to go straight to the braid. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're going with the fishtail braid because that will help the, um, the style last longer. And we all know that the fishtail braid is just bringing hair from the um, left to the right and from the right to the left. But again, when I'm grabbing my section, I'm grabbing really big sections because I want to make that fishtail look like an actual uh, French braid when I'm done. Now, what's the secret of clean braids? 
and f a really big braids. The secret of a big braids is to pull as you go. I see a lot of people taking my classes and everyone knows how to braid, but they don't know how to make it big. So in order to keep it clean and make it look big, we have to pull as we go. If we uh, wait until we're done with the braid and we secure the braid and then we start to pull, that's when it becomes messy. Can you guys see the flexibility that I have to pull when the hair is not secured with the rubber band? So that's the secret of the big braids. You pull as you go. And what we're going to do is Lala is going to be able to finish this up and we're going to come back at the very end so you can see that final look. Up next, what we are going to do is we are going to show you how to do a full bundle of tape, ex I'm sorry, a full head of tape extensions for length and volume. And don't forget, stay tuned because Lala is going to come back with that final look at the very end. So we'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Hey folks, it's Chrissy again. At the beginning of the program, I mentioned that there was going to be a really incredible offer. Well, here it comes. Normally, to become a certified Dreamcatcher stylist, it runs you at $500. However, today, with this special promotion with Behind the Chair viewers, that same deal of $500 is going to go out at just $125. And it includes exactly the same that you would get for the original price. Everything that you see in this display case, it includes all your tools and your toolkit holster. And by the way, these are all imported tools, high quality, made of titanium. You're going to get your two bundles of hair. Remember, you're going to be certified in both ITIP and the tape. You're going to get your cutting cape. You're going to get your rat tail comb. You're going to get your sectioning clips. And most important of all, you're going to get the coloring so you can match up the hair. And there's something even better coming down the pipeline. Here we go. You're going to get the 50% off coupon, and that's for the special today as well. So on your first order, irrespective of the size of the order, whether it's five bundles or whether it's 50 bundles, you're going to get 50% off. And there's even more to come. You're also going to get shipping included. So the shipping is free. So all you've got to do is go to dreamcatchers.com and log on the flashing button that says Facebook Live at 125 and sign up. And all I can say to you lovely folks out there is welcome to the Dream Team. Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Kat, if you're just joining us, and we are here with our lovely model, China, and we are going to be installing a full head of the tape extensions for length and volume, because remember, Dreamcatchers doesn't just teach you one way to put these in. We've got the tapes and the eye tips, which are really right now the most popular uh, systems on the market because it's something that's reusable. That's the whole idea behind Dreamcatchers, reusability, because that's where you're gonna see your clients are coming back. It's about the investment in the hair. You give them quality hair and they can reuse it multiple times. Every time they come back, don't forget, cha-ching, it's money in the bank for you because you're doing the maintenances. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start her off first. And when you're working with your tapes, you always start at the nape and you work your way up towards the crown. And what I'm gonna do on China, so I'm just going to section her off. I always like to keep the sides out first because if I'm sectioning everything off together, it's just, it's too much hair to hold in the clip. So it's almost like my own little subsections. And China does have pretty wavy or curly hair naturally, so I am installing the wavy tape extensions on her. And the beauty about the tape extensions is you can put in a full head, no joke, 30 minutes flat. It is so quick, so if you have, and they're very flat to the head. And if, so if you have somebody that's coming in for just a bridal do, just for a couple of weeks, they're not looking for something that's super permanent, but let's be honest, once they have these in, they are not letting them go because it just adds so much more to your look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section her off. And like I said, China does have curlier hair and she has natural hair. She doesn't, she doesn't do anything to process it. She doesn't have a keratin. She doesn't do um, any type of relaxers. So that's why we also choose to work with tapes because you're working almost with wefts. And so I leave that gap in between so when she goes in to wash or blow dry and flat iron her hair, she's got that extra hair in between that she can go in and really focus on smoothing out and then she just flips the tapes up and down. Now what I'm gonna do is I always like to kind of work with two tapes in the nape. And so if I'm working with two tapes, I like to leave a little bit of a section in between them and you just need a thin, fine veil of hair. 
Because if it's too thick, then what's going to happen is when they grow away from the scalp, it's going to be uncomfortable for a client. All right? Now remember, you always need two pieces when you're working, one for the top and one for the bottom. I'm going to start with my sticky side up first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift her natural hair up. I'm going to lay my tape extension down right to where I want it to be, and I'm going to give it a little give because, it's, because if it's too close to the scalp, it can be uncomfortable, especially for somebody who's tender-headed. Like China, she never stops complaining. You know what I mean? You've got those clients, you know. So I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to drag that natural hair straight down and over. I'm going to take the back of my comb and just smooth it out, just like this. And then I'm going to take my second tape extension, and this is going to be sticky side down now. So I want my two stickies sticking to each other. It's a sandwich. And I'm going to lay it right on top, match my corners up, press very gently in the middle to begin, and then I'm going to get my fingers underneath, press in the middle, and curve my way out. That way, the tape is going to take on the curvature of her head. You don't want these wings sticking out. You want it to go in with the head. It feels much more comfortable, lays a little bit flatter. Now I'm going to do my second tape extension. And I hope you all took notice at how quick that was. And look at this. Right off the bat, look at how much density I'm already getting. I'm creating that new weight line, which is what you want to do. And I can always play with colors with these tape extensions, too. You can put in a dark. And then you can put two colors together. Do one piece as an ombre, do one piece as a dark. So the two colors start to blend together to create something totally different. So I'm going to take my hair, bring it up, lay my tape extension flat to the head, drag straight down, take the back of my comb, and I'm just going to lay it down. I'm going to take my tap second tape extension, remember, sticky side down, match up my corners, press in the middle, and then curve my way out. And there's my napro. Easy peasy. All right, don't make this any harder than it has to do. Don't get a flat iron out. You don't need to do that. They're going to stay in. And this is the biggest thing. When you install your Dreamcatcher tape extensions, do not wash your hair for at least 24 hours. You need to give the tape time to adhere to one another. All right? So now I've got my second row. And these are going to be straight across when you're working with those tape extensions. And it's all about measuring. You know, don't just jump in and expect, you know, these to fly in looking great. You don't want to attach these to our eyebrows. You know, go in with a plan. All right? And so what I'm going to do now is as you, wait, I'm sorry, as you work your way up the head, you are going to install these in a brick layer effect. So I started off with my two on the outsides. And then I'm going to work starting in the middle and I'm going to brick layer it in. So I'm going to put one in the middle and one to either side. Super yeah, simple. Great oh my gosh, I'm ready. What and question? This is the only size tape that we offer. That is a great question. The question is 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 this the only size tape that we have um, size tape that we offer through Dreamcatchers? And it is. Our tape is one size. However, we have a protective mesh webbing at the very top of the tape which makes it very very durable and at that sense you know you can cut it and make it smaller if you need to when you're working around the hairline when you're working closer to the part line you can really um, customize these so any client feels comfortable let me take another one china thank you so much and it's just the same thing get into a rhythm and you can literally lay these tapes in so fast so quick and you can see, now I'm starting to build up. Now I'm adding another color and creating that dimension. And I'm going to pop one in on the side over here. And it's all about staying even. Keep it even. That's what you want to focus on. And I always like to drag straight up and pull down. Make sure you keep your finger out of the way, though. Otherwise, if your finger's in the way, it's going to bubble. And the whole idea behind extensions, the flatter, the better. It's like unnecessary volume. It's not fun volume. It's bad volume, OK? You got to keep your fingers out of the way, drag straight down, line your tape up, and just smooth it out. Take my other one, pop it right on top. And we're just going to keep on cranking. Easy enough. And China has actually been wearing these tape extensions for two years. And we have seen such a tremendous change for the better in her natural hair. It's gotten thicker, fuller, longer because she's keeping up with her maintenances. Don't forget, maintenances are key. Okay, and I'm just going to pop my top one on right now. Now, 
as you can see, we're starting to stack up and we're creating some extra volume and we're creating that weight line. At this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce Chanel, who's gonna come on out and we are going to work on China off screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring her back a little bit later and I'm gonna show you how to do a full cut on this with a razor, okay? And um, before that though, don't forget that in a couple of minutes, we are going to come back in and I'm going to show you how to work with the eye tip extensions for thin, fine, and possibly fragile hair. So stay tuned. into my career and it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to us. Um, my clients keep coming back every four to six weeks so you have that return investment over and over again and so it's not just the installation you get the return on the adjustments and then you have to get their color so they can't go anywhere else they come to you so you end up getting all this extra money and it ended up being one of the best things that ever happened to us. It feels comfortable I can wash it I can blow dry it I can brush it it's just like my regular everyday hair. I don't have to like do any kind of maintenance with it. No special brushes, nothing. It's just like regular hair. I love it. These are my favorite extensions. They're very comfortable. They feel natural. They don't puff out or anything. They lay really flat. So when people come up and touch the hair, they instantly fall in love. I love the hair. I love this hair. It's my Hi. favorite. It's the best. Right, turn around. Let's show them how short your hair is. So there you go, guys. That's what she started with. And now she has long, beautiful hair. Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Kat, if you didn't already know that, I hope you did because we've been here for a while now and with me is Jesse and I am going to be showing you how to work with these eye tip extensions when somebody might have thinner, finer, maybe more fragile hair because we've got some tips and tricks for you. But before we do that, what I would like to do is I would love to announce one of our giveaway winners who, I don't know if you guys know this, but we are just doing a couple of giveaways here and there for free certifications. Anybody who's commenting, posted, so or posting, you know, just stay live with us, stay present, like anything and we are so excited to give away some free certifications and one grand prize winner will be winning a full head of eye tip extensions or tape whichever you prefer installed cut and styled by yours truly so jamie who is our first winner Kaylee O from Nebraska, you just won your very own Dreamcatcher certification. Congratulations, welcome to the Dream Team. So excited to have you. And maybe it's gonna be you up here next year instead of me. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we call the V for volume. This is for density only to thicken up somebody's hair. And you're gonna use up to two bundles on a V for volume. Right? Only two bundles, so you're not doing as much. It's not gonna take you as long. And there is a very sp specific pattern that we use. It starts on either side of the head, and this is one section in the head, and that is it, okay? It starts on either side of the head at the temples. And you're gonna go straight across the sides of the head just until you get to the back of the ear. Once you get to the back of the ear, your section is going to dip down in the back of the head and is going to meet right underneath the occipital bone, okay? This is cut to her length. You're not gonna get any length out of this. But what I've done is I've already stacked in one bundle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install some more of these eye tip extensions on Jessie in the same pattern just to fill in our V for volume. And Kat, we've got a great question. We have another question, yes. Are these the same size tips that you were working with earlier? That is a great question. Are these the same sized tips that we were working with earlier? Hmm, very good question, and no, they are not. Dreamcatchers actually offers two sizes because when you are working with thin, fine, fragile, maybe even sparse, shame, poor thing, um, you really want to focus on making sure that there's not too much tension or weight on one specific area. So what we're working on with Jesse today is we are working on half points. We're working with half points. It's half the size extension and half the size cylinder. So it's half the weight and half the density. 
okay? But it still gives a beautiful effect. It's very light in the hair, and it have, has a different kind of movement. It works better with people with finer hair. So it doesn't look like there's a big chunk here and a chunk here. It has just a little bit more fluidity through their hair. So all I'm gonna do, and you can see my pattern that I already have, straight on the side and V'd in the back. Super simple, but super duper um, helpful when you're working on a client and you don't have to section off multiple times. It's fantastic. So I'm just gonna slide my cylinder on again. It's just a smaller sized cylinder. And remember when you're working with your eye tips, always match your cylinder to the client's base tone. All right, I'm gonna pop one in, drag it down and crimp. And I'm just going to fill this in and I want you to see how beautiful it looks. And I'm changing out two different colors. I'm working with one of our ombre blends and I'm also working with one of our solid colors just to give a little bit more of that peak and valley effect, almost like a balayage. That way it's not solid all the way to the base and she doesn't have a hard line in between. So that's how you can kind of work with some of these colors. And I'm just gonna slide my cylinder on and you can just crank these out. Look at how fast they're going in. I think that's one of the biggest fears is people look at these eye tips and they just say to themselves, that's gonna take me 300 hours. No, it is not. Get your time down. Practice makes perfect. I cannot say that enough. I can't stress that enough. The more you do, the better you get. Remember the first time you did foils? It was a nightmare. Your full head took you five hours and who knows what happened to that poor girl's hair, you know? But the more you do, the better you get. And you can see just filling in quickly adding fullness, super quick, super easy. And when we're working with that V, I am working with only one row, one row and that is it. Okay. Yeah, Kat, we got another question. Yes, another question, oh my gosh, I love it, okay. Can you do one, more than one V for volume per head? And the answer, honestly, is no. If you're going to use more, more bundles, go back to your U-shaped smiley face rows so you can create the kind consistent density throughout. The V for volume was created specifically for thickness and density, but quickly as well. And it's about keeping it and dipping it underneath the occipital bone because as soon as you go above, and let's say you do two V for volumes in one head, you're creating too much density in this parietal ridge, and that's when it starts to look a little off. It doesn't look and move the same way that your natural hair does. So I am just going to finish up a little bit more of this V for volume and Jesse and I will come on off but come back with us in a couple of minutes and what I'm going to show you is how to install these eye tip extensions just to enhance your color without using any type of chemicals so stay tuned hey folks it's Chrissy again at the beginning of the program I mentioned that there was going to be a really incredible offer well here it comes Normally, to become a certified Dreamcatcher stylist, it runs you at $500. However, today, with this special promotion with Behind the Chair viewers, that same deal of $500 is going to go out at just $125. And it includes exactly the same that you would get for the original price. Everything that you see in this display case, it includes all your tools and your toolkit holster. And by the way, these are all imported tools, high quality, made of titanium. You're going to get your two bundles of hair. Remember, you're going to be certified in both eye tip and the tape. You're going to get your cutting cape. You're going to get your rat tail comb. You're going to get your sectioning clips. And most important of all, you're going to get the coloring so you can match up the hair. And there's something even better coming down the pipeline. Here we go. You're going to get the 50% off coupon and that's for the special today as well. So on your first order, irrespective of the size of the order, whether it's five bundles or whether it's 50 bundles, you're gonna get 50% off. And there's even more to come. You're also gonna get shipping included. So the shipping is free. So all you've gotta do is go to dreamcatchers.com and log on the flashing button that says Facebook Live at 125 and sign up. And all I can say to you lovely folks out there is welcome to the Dream Team.
Hey there, and we're back with our lovely model, Natalie, who we're going to be installing some of the iTip extensions on just to give her a brighter look without using any type of chemicals. But before we do that, I want to do another giveaway, okay? We have one more person. Well, actually, we're going to have plenty throughout this segment, but we're going to have one more person that's going to win a free certification, and that person is... Christy G from Missouri. Congratulations, Christy. And I might say this every single time, but welcome to the Dream Team. All right, and we'll be getting in contact with you to make sure that you get your certification. Now, when we're working on just pops of color, enhancing something uh, with the iTip extensions, or even just doing highlights, the way that you want to install these is it's all visual. Wherever you put these, it's, it's fine. As long as you cannot see a cylinder, you can drop it in. And what I'm going to do for Natalie's look, which is kind of one of my go-tos, it really is my favorite, it's just to add a little something without it becoming overbearing. And what I like to do is I like to add in just a halo because that's going to give you the most bang for your buck, especially if you're just working with maybe one bundle. Okay, so if I'm just working with one bundle on Natalie, I'm really going to focus it more in the front because that's where she's going to see it and that's where she's going to feel it. So when I work in a halo, I'm going to work at a diagonal angle going down and it's going to frame her face. That way when she curls her hair back, you're going to see that pop of color. Okay, so will you hold this for me, Natalie? Thank you. Section her off and remember staying a good length into the hairline, staying a decent amount in. And one of the questions that I know I always get is, what kind of products do you like to use with these dream catchers? What works well? Especially because I do like to use a little bit of hairspray to knock down those flyaways, lay them flat. I think we already talked about that, but that's all right. Um, what I like to use, very simple, I love Pravana. Pravana works so well with these dream catchers. Um, so their styling tools are wonderful. I love working with all of their styling products. And it's really, it's a great, the texture that it comes out is really, really nice when I'm installing these eye tips. So I'm just going to give a light mist. I hope I didn't blind you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to comb it down. And you can see it just lays down all of those flyaways. So I've got a nice clean section to work with. Put that back. And we're going to be. We've got a question from Alicia. Oh my gosh, I'm ready, Alicia. Oh, that is a fantastic question. Absolutely not, as long as you are using the right brush. And you know what? I'm going to say it out loud. My favorite brush to work with, the wet brush. The bristles have just enough flexibility that they will literally just go right over and you will not catch or snag. But remember, it's all about that four to six week maintenance. If you're waiting three and a half months to get your any type of extension installed, they're dragging by your ears. You know, they, you know, by your earlobes, you've got like new dangling earrings. Doesn't look good, doesn't feel good. So remember, keep up those four to six week maintenances. Okay, and so as you can see, I'm installing these eye tips and I'm putting them in and I'm leaving a gap in between. When you leave a space in between, you're giving more of a highlighted effect. If she was looking for something that's more of like a solid panel of color, you want it to look more solid, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna install these dream catchers very simply, side by side, one, two, three, like little regimented soldiers. And you can see this is actually one of our new colors that have come out. This is our like an ombre red almost. So it's got a beautiful melt and a beautiful pop of color. It's gonna bring out the warmth in her own hair. And I'm just going to create this beautiful effect all the way around on Natalie. And again, symmetry is key. So I'm going to start on one side, get my first row in right here, and then I'm going to work on the next side just to make sure that I'm keeping my head even. Okay? I'm going to turn her just a little bit more so you can see. And Kat, we've got another question. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so a great question. How many bundles would you use on a client for a full head of highlights? And that's very simple. I would always suggest something like two to three bundles. And the reason is because it's not necessarily about the amount of hair that you're working with, but it's the color choices. You get more color options, and that's what you're really looking for. It's because if you're only using one color through the head, does that really look natural? No, you want to have the highs, the lows, a little bit more of the contrast. You're looking for that extra bit of dimension, and working with multiple bundles will give you that effect and you can see the same thing I'm matching up my cylinder color to match her base that I cannot tell you 
stresses me out when people do not do that. It's awful. So please match your cylinder color to the base. You want it to look more like it's regrowth coming out of their head than anything else. You don't want it to look like a big piece of metal. Now, I'm coming up and I'm just gonna finish some of her highlights. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have Brooke, one of our lovely stylists, come on out and she is going to finish up Natalie off screen. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back in a couple of minutes. Number one, I'm gonna give away another uh, certification. So comment, like, post, get active with us. And when I come back, I am going to show you how to do a cut on the tape extensions with a razor. So stay tuned. love is the hair quality and the thing that sets us apart is you can see how great our installs are and that draws people over to feel the hair which feels amazing. The first thing they ask is how long is your actual hair and that's the best thing because if you don't know the client's original hair length, uh, if you can't tell right away that's a great thing. My hair is actually this long. Big difference. <laughs> I'm Emma. I work at the Hair and Color Bar from Wasilla. We don't have much going on in Wasilla um, having to do with the dream catchers. I'm so excited. I just got them and um, yeah, we're bringing it to Alaska. Woo! I have heard about dream catchers. Um, I worked at a spa and one of the girls was licensed out of California with them and um, I got to experience taking them down and putting them back up and her hair is so fine. I was very amazed with how um, the dream catchers just didn't pull on her hair. It wasn't super heavy. So I was sold. The quality of the hair, the fact that I could color them and just that she had worn them for over a year and a half and they were still so good. I, I was bewildered. So I'm really excited to work with them. Hey everybody, welcome back, and I'm back with China. and as you can see, we finished up her tape extensions already. So like I said, they are fast, so don't ever forget that. You got a client, they come in and they say, I can't spend more than 35 minutes with you, but I'd like to get some extensions. Maybe the tapes are the best option, all right? Now I'm gonna show you how to do a razor cut on these tape extensions, and the reason why I choose to use a razor when I'm working on tapes is because it's very thick, and when you're working with a razor, you're gonna get that texture that you want without having to go in and point cut multiple times, and you can create those nice lines and the texture that you need without cutting in for hours and hours, all right? Um, I do know that there were a couple of questions, again, about how short the natural hair can be before you can actually install these in extensions. And I'll be very honest, again, if you can grab it, put a dream catcher on it, put the eye tips in, put the tapes in, as long as you cannot see a bond, you can put the extensions in. And you're gonna see, I'm just gonna line this up. And I'm just gonna cut in my shape and I want to keep plenty of the length because I know that's what she wants and I'm gonna turn her just a little bit there we go and I'm gonna have her hold her cape just a little bit so I'm working with a nice even section and I'm also gonna have her curve her shoulders in she's gonna be a little hunchback and I know it's not a glorious look but what's nice is it opens up the body so there's more room for you to cut you've got a bigger area so you can see where this hair is going to lay and remember, you know, there is no limit to how short your hair can be. Honestly, I go from having extensions to not. Sometimes I put them in, sometimes I take them out. And look at my hair, it's super short. But I'll put in 20 inch, as long as you put in enough hair, it's always gonna look good. Hey Kat, we're getting a lot of questions if this hair comes in body wave. Yes, of course this hair comes in body wave. One of the questions, um, does this hair come in body wave? Absolutely, we do have multiple textures available. We've got straight, wavy, we also have medium curl and tight curl for some, some of your clients that have that extra bit of texture. And I'm gonna have you stand up straight now. And as you can see, now I've got my shape here and I've done just a little bit of framing on the sides. And I'm gonna have her turn just a little bit. Okay, 
And again, longer strokes. When you're working with a razor, because you can always go back in and take some of that texture off, but if you go in and you're too blunt in the beginning, it's a nightmare. Trying to go backwards and fix that mistake is really difficult, okay? So I'm just going to go in, and just give it a nice taper. I'm gonna turn her one more time. And then when I'm working with my tapes, I like to go straight in with some nice vertical sections and don't lift up too high. I don't wanna see a 90 degree, 180. You don't need to do that with the tapes. Remember, this is a visual cut. When it looks good, just leave it, okay? There we go. And that's gonna give her just that additional movement that we're looking for. And that, I'm just looking to connect. I'm looking to connect her top layer into the extensions to give that kind of movement. And at this point, you know what? I would love to give away another, another certification. So give me somebody, anybody. I want to create, I want a winner. We have another winner, Amanda Paxton. Amanda Paxton. We have an Amanda Paxton. Congratulations. You just won yourself a certification with Dreamcatchers. Congratulations, lovely. And I'm just gonna get that kind of movement. I'm gonna turn her again. And remember, less is more. You know, if you leave it a little bit longer, she comes back to you in a week's time, that's fine. But if you cut too much off, then where do you go from there, okay? You can always cut off more, but you can't really put it back on. I mean, you can, but then somebody's paying for it, okay? So just always look for the movement. Give it a fluff, stand back, see how it's laying. And remember, when you install these extensions, always wait until they've washed it to really give that second cut because it fluffs up a little bit more. It gets a little bit more body, okay? And just a layer. I might pick up at a, at a degree, but then I bring it back down. Keep everything at less, uh, at less than 45 degrees. Now, what we are going to do, thank you so much, Tina, and that's really all you have to do. Remember, it's all about the blending. Get that shaping and that framing down, and then the rest will just come together. The next thing that we are gonna go over is we are going to show you how to do a maintenance with the I-tip extensions, because I know everybody has questions about that. You wanna see what that maintenance looks like, so we are gonna come back in a couple minutes, and I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like, so stay tuned. <laughs> with these extensions. They're just amazing. I like them way better than the hot fusion, that's for sure. <laughs> the first thing they ask is, how long is your actual hair? This long. Big difference. <laughs> and everybody does walk by and feel the hair and know how amazing it is. So I'm so excited. I just got them and um, yeah, we're bringing it to Alaska. Woo! <laughs> I just bought my Dreamcatchers hair extension kit. I'm very excited about it. I purchased it because after having used many other lines, I've gotten nothing but great feedback about the quality of the hair, and I'm just really excited to introduce it to my clients and give them the quality of service they deserve. are back here with Bonnie, our iTip model, and as you can see, we have dropped in those five bundles, and it's going to look great once we give it a trim, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a little bit, but I do want to let you guys know, I know we're getting a lot of questions about this, I know that there was a lot of questions about the promotion, which you've already seen, but remember, this is normally when you work with Dreamcatchers, you have to be certified because we want to make sure that any client that is getting a service done in LA can get the same service done in Manhattan. Um, by any certified Dreamcatcher stylist. So that's why we really focus on making sure you're certified the right way. Normally, it is a $500 deal, which comes with everything that you'd need to do your first head, including hair, cylinders, threader, tools to work with. But for you, our behind the chair viewers, it is actually only going to be $125. 
125 on Facebook Live. So don't forget, go to dreamcatchers.com. After I'm done talking though, don't cut me off, okay? Uh, you're gonna go onto dreamcatchers.com and you are going to click on that flashing button and that says 125 on Facebook Live and you are going to get this deal. You can get trained online. It is a fantastic certification and we cannot wait for you to join the Dream Team. Also, on that note, don't forget, like Dreamcatchers on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, which is just Dreamcatchers Hair. You can see some of our amazing before and afters. We have such talented stylists all over the country and honestly, all over the world. And it's fantastic. It gives you some, a little bit of motivation just to see somebody else's work and see what you can create, you can really create on somebody else. So on that note, what we're going to do is we're going to get back to Bonnie. Now, we have mimicked what it looks like when these cylinders have grown away from the scalp at that four to six week maintenance time. And I know there's a lot of questions about that, right? What does it look like? Well, it looks something like this, all right? The cylinders have grown away from the scalp just like any other extension would. All you have to do is you are gonna section her off, you're gonna open up that cylinder, push it up, you're gonna remove the extension, you just take it out, and you are gonna run your fingers through that section of hair two or three times. And what you're doing is you are gonna remove the natural shed that occurred while she was gone. Everybody sheds, it's just a way of life. So we've gotta remove that natural shed to make sure it doesn't turn into a tangle or a mat later on. We're gonna push that cylinder up. Remember, we're gonna use the same cylinder. That's what makes this quick, is everything is reusable. And I'm gonna take my eye tip extension, pop it right back into the same cylinder and crimp it all together again. Easy peasy, don't make any any harder than it has to be. And yes, this is when you can also process her and do her color at the same time, okay? Push that up, pop my same extension right back in and crimp it all together. Hey Kat, we've got a great question. Yes. So we just had a great question come in. How do you do a color while your client is in for a maintenance and how do you do it at the same time? Super simple, when she comes in, she is going to come in to you and you're going to do her color first, but you're gonna do a partial color only. Don't do a full color. You're gonna do a partial color on the top area where there are no extensions, even her hairline, and maybe even that back area um, around her nape, just whatever's visible to her. Now, once you've put that color on, the color will start to process and this is your opportunity to do that adjustment that way you're not wasting any time just like what Chris said you know otherwise you're double booking yourself or triple your booking yourself it's time to work smarter not harder okay you can focus on one client and still get them in there for that two services instead of just one once your color is done processing your move up is done as well because you've done it at the same time at that point that's when you go wash her out, blow dryer, finish her off, and you are good to go, all right? And I know that one of the big questions that I've heard a lot, and I'm just gonna throw it out there, I don't know if anybody out there wants to know, but can you color these extensions? Absolutely, and there are, you know, small things that you always wanna remember to make sure you're getting the most out of it, it's consistent and predictable, always go deeper. Don't ever try to go lighter, because that's when it's not as predictable, and always, always, always do a test strand. Okay, so absolutely you can color this. This is 100% human hair and it holds on to color beautifully, all right? Now, another question that I know that I get all the time is this, what color line? And you can see, I just already finished her adjustment in probably less than 30 seconds just in that area. So doing a full head only takes about 45 minutes. That's again, money in the bank. You are going to charge for that service. Um, what color line do I use with my dream catchers? It kind of goes hand in hand with my styling products. I love Pravana. It holds on to the hair so well. It's beautiful. It processes beautifully. It's consistent. And the direct dyes work wonderfully on this dream catcher hair. Okay? So that was how quick, easy, and simple doing a move up can be. And what I would like to do now is I really want to show you how we are going to do a cut. We are going to do a cut with shears on Bonnie's hair right now, okay? And I think at this time, this is the fantastic time to offer another giveaway. It's time to do one more. Let's do another one. What have we got? Give me a name, Jamie. We've got a Ness M. A Ness M. 
Aness M, congratulations, you just won yourself a certification. And you know, at this point, if you haven't won a certification but you would like to be trained, don't forget, 125, that is a fantastic deal. Let me tell you, eight years ago, I took this certification and it was over $1,500, which to me was not a bad deal because you can see the potential that you can make from your clients. So $500 is a fantastic deal at that to get the full kit, but $125, that is amazing. That's mind blowing. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that, you know, we're not focused on, as a company, we don't wanna make money on the trainings. We want you to go out there and make and give your clients the best service possible, the best quality possible, and we truly believe and we know that that is dream catchers. Okay, so remember 125 on Facebook Live. And I'm just gonna turn our beautiful Bonnie around and just so you guys know, Bonnie is a good friend of mine. She's a fantastic stylist, oh, she's so beautiful. I'm gonna turn her around and you can see we've worked with multiple colors to blend out. And we've got plenty of hair in there. That is what five bundles looks like. It's a rope of hair, it is beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Bonnie stand up, we're gonna move this chair out of the way, and we're gonna jump right into our cut. I'm gonna drape her. And Kat, before you do that, people wanna know yes. what length do we offer this hair in? What length do we offer this hair in? All of your dream catchers will always come 20 inch or longer. If you call and ask for 18 or 16, it's not gonna happen, we don't have it. If you want a shorter color, I'm sorry, a shorter size you, or length, you're gonna take the 20 and you're gonna cut it, but you can order this hair in 20 inch, 24 inch, 26. And if you are looking for something that's out of this world and you and we don't have it and it's a custom order, we can do up to 38 inches, okay? I actually just ordered some really long hair for one of my clients because she is getting married and she is looking for that extra va va voom factor. So we just ordered her some beautiful 32 inch hair, which I'm really excited to see and it's gorgeous red and it's gonna be beautiful and wavy. So maybe we'll come back and I'll show you how to do that install, who knows? But just keep liking, don't forget. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. And at the very end, once I finish this cut, I show you how to do this, we are going to come back and we are going to have our grand prize winner and also Lala is going to show us her final look on Destiny's hair. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do a cut on the eye tip extensions using shears instead of a razor. Because I know that there's a lot of questions about that out there, can you only use razors? Because there are a lot of people that are more comfortable working with shears, you know what? To each their own. And just remember, take it slow, take it steady, All right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn Bonnie around and we're gonna start off working in the front first. And the reason I'm gonna work in the front first, I'm gonna do her framing around her face is because I wanna leave as much length as possible. And what's gonna give me, <laughs> is that what you want? Yes, okay, I figured. <laughs> they always want it longer, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring this forward and what's gonna be my guide for how long I can keep these dream catchers is where her hair ends, where her natural hair starts to match up with the extensions. That's gonna really give me my first guide on where I need to start my framing in the front to make it look natural and marry the two together. So I'm gonna bring this forward. And just so you guys know, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. I'm just a fast talker. Okay. And I'm just gonna slide. Another yeah, another question. I honestly do, yes. When I, not all the time, not on my clients without extensions, but when I am working with extensions, remember, this is a visual cut. You need to see exactly where every single hair is gonna lay, and if you cut on wet hair, you're not gonna get the same effect. So no matter what you're doing, razor cut or you're working with shears, always do it on dry hair. You're doing yourself a favor, okay? So I'm gonna pull this forward, and I'm just gonna slide cut. And again, you don't have to take it all off in one swoop, Take a look at where it's laying. Pull this forward, shake it out. Ooh. Toss your scissors. And see where we're at. And sometimes when you do a scissor cut and shear cut on the dream catchers, it might take a little bit more time, but if that's what you're more comfortable with, so be it, you know, to each their own. And we do give you guidelines. We, we give you great fundamentals in the class. I mean, that's really what this, what this class is about. It's about those fundamentals on how to actually work with extensions and more specifically working with the dream catchers. But you know what? As a stylist, you've got to learn the rules to break them. 
It's really what it comes down to. We're going to spin Bonnie. Thank you so much. And again, I'm going to bring everything forward of the ear. Forward. This is all the framing. Shaping around the face. I'm going to bring it forward, and I'm just going to slide. I'm so excited for Bonnie. She's actually been wearing dream catchers for a long time. And she is now moving on up to, to the longer hair. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. You want you get people committed and dedicated. And I swear, once you have these dream catchers in, it's hard to go without. Even in my own hair, I've got them on the sides just for thickness. I'm never going to go without them. They're like a security blanket. Pull this forward and slide. And as you can see, we're starting to line up and we're creating that framing just around the face. Now I'm going to have Bonnie turn all the way around so I can start to do a little bit more of the shaping in the back. Yeah, we've got another question. Yes, another question. What shears do you use? Oh my gosh. Well, everybody can use their whatever shears that they feel comfortable with. The shears that I choose to use are Hattori Hanzo's. All right, they are amazing and they are made for wet and dry cutting. I believe these ones are the Yumi's, I wanna say, don't quote me, but give a call to them, ask them what I'm using. You know, they know that we're doing this Facebook Live today and they're, they are my favorite shears to work with. You know, very rarely do I like to do a scissor cut when I'm working on extensions, but when I do, I'm gonna use Hattori Hanzo's. And I also like their thinning shears as well. And now, I'm just going to slide cut. And one of the other things before I start to slide cut, you know, and I just go in to do my layers, the other way that you can create some great layers rather than just taking vertical sections is go ahead and take horizontal sections and use your rows as your guides and always start at the top. Always start with your top row first because there's no point because remember the layers really are a visual help. And what you want to do is you really want to focus on the top area because you don't want to take away from the density if you don't need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking actually her whole top row of dream catchers. I'm bringing them into the back, bringing them almost into a V. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut. And it looks a little scary, but just have faith. And you'll see I'm starting to create long layers. Do I recommend using a sulfate-free shampoo is one of the questions we just got, and absolutely. You know, a lot of your clients are, are already have color enhancements on their own hair, so working with, uh, sh uh, sh I'm sorry, not, not sugar-free, sulfate-free or paraben-free products are always helpful when you're working with the dream catchers as well. It just helps enhance the, the lifespan of these extensions. And so I've done my horizontal cut, and now I'm just going to go in match it up with my vertical. And remember, don't lift it up too much. It's all visual. And you can see what's happening. We're starting to get those beautiful long layers. That's going to give her the movement out of this hair. So it just is, doesn't, that way it doesn't flop down. So that's the worst. I want to know, how long do these extensions last? And can you retip them? Oh my gosh, wonderful question. How long do these extensions last and can you retip them? Depending on the way that your client takes care of them, I always tell them that you can have these last anywhere between one to two years. And I've honestly had some clients that last longer. Who knows what they're doing at home? I have no answers. But, you know, I've had clients that have had their hair last even longer than that. And when they do, um, at some point, if those tips start to wear away, those polyurethane rubberized tips, send them back into dream catchers and we'll retip them for you. So this really is made to be a reusable system all the way through and through. And just slide cutting. That's all you want to do. And even though you're going over areas that you might have already, again, slow and steady. There we go. So we've got some beautiful layers on Bonnie. We're going to pull this forward just to take a look, make sure everything is even. And oh my gosh, you're looking good, girl. Very extra, just <laughs> like you. Wonderful. All right. So as you can see, we've finished up that cut and it looks amazing. It's going to look even better once it's washed and styled and the whole shebang. Uh, what I want to do is I'd also like to give away one more certification and then we're also going to give away our grand prize winner. So who is our last certification winner? Kelly P. 
Our last certification winner is our lovely Kelly P. Congratulations, that is amazing. Everybody loves to be part of the Dream Team and now you are as well. We are going to introduce and bring back in Chris for our final giveaway and our final send off. We've had such a wonderful time with you guys today. And we are going to bring Chris right on out and we are actually gonna bring Lala back too so you can see this final look. Let me just put my cutting here away. Chris, come on out. We want you to introduce the grand prize winner. So and today we have Destiny. We've got um, <laughs> Destiny. This was the lovely Destiny I ran off with earlier. And I'd like to just turn you around. And Lala, you've been a darling, by the way. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. I've got to just say that the end result here that you've done with just five bundles looks absolutely stunning. I don't think there would be a bride out there that wouldn't be really proud and absolutely love this look. And as you said, it's fluffy, it looks beautiful. And how long did Can it I take? Can I share one more tip? Please do. Because I told them in the beginning that we're going to go over how we make the braid to last longer. Okay. So, because we have a lot of friction going on in here, I found a way to make the, the braids last longer. Hair pins, we take the hair pin, like when we do fine highlights, we go underneath and we weave the, the hair pin like fine weaving in, uh, into the hair, like doing this. And once we get to the, uh, the uh, end of that, we're gonna lock those ends in like this. I never knew how to use those. That makes sense now. And okay. then we're going on the other side with another one weaving that hairpin in and we're closing those ends as well. So we have two hairpins intertwined that will hold that hair together and th even if they have friction or they sweat, that braid is not going to go anywhere. And we continue to do that from the top all the way to the bottom. We start with uh, big hairpins and we continue with small ones all the way to the bottom. And that's the tip how you make the braids uh, last longer. It was amazing to be on set. Thank you guys for watching and Thanks, I'll give All it right. to Chris. Super, thank Yay. you, Destiny. That was thank great. So I'm gonna say to you, thank you, Lala. You've thank been you. absolutely amazing. That was yeah. fabulous. Folks, um, uh, from my understanding, we have a grand prize winner um, and that's gonna be for a full head of extensions, whether they want them an eye tip or tape, and that includes the installation, the fit, the cut, and the style. And Chris will actually be doing those on uh, you. We, we've covered that already. Just thank you, Kat. No, All right. <laughs> So a, Ni a California girl, lovely, Love my it. own EM. So Naomi, Naomi. yes, Naomi M. So Naomi. well done to you. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to be in touch with you shortly. For everybody here, that was an absolute fabulous um, um, you know, event, and I Thank thoroughly so enjoyed much. it. Just Do remember to follow us. Follow us on Facebook. Life goes on Facebook. Come and follow us on Instagram. Remember, it's Dreamcatcher's Hair. That is our tag. Please come and see us. And don't forget, you can either call into the office or you can sign up online. Don't forget, this promotion is going to last 10 days. Okay? So take advantage That's of that, number. folks. Just remember, it's uh, Facebook Live at 125. Thank you very much. That's a wrap from our side. Thank God. <laughs>